I want to introduce the concept of a limiting reactant, and I think the easiest way to look into that is to just jump into an example. Let's consider what happens when I put 8.31 moles of magnesium and combine that with 6.24 moles of oxygen in a direct combination reaction. Like everything we've been doing in this chapter, you need to start with a balanced equation. So I'm combining magnesium with oxygen, and you're making magnesium oxide. We've seen this reaction a couple of times. To balance it, I need two oxygens over here, and I need two magnesiums over here. Now I have a balanced reaction. The reaction says that for every two moles of magnesium, I need one mole of oxygen. So let me ask you a question. If I have 8.31 moles of magnesium, the amount that I'm given, how much oxygen do I actually need? Well, from our balanced equation, there's one O2 for every two magnesiums, as long as we're in moles. So what this statement is saying is that you need 4.16 moles of oxygen. Do I have 4.16 moles of oxygen? Yeah, I have 6.24 moles of oxygen. I have more oxygen than I actually need. That means that when this reaction is done, there is going to be an excess of oxygen. There's going to be unreacted oxygen when this reaction completes. I don't need all of the oxygen that I'm given. It's kind of like making a sandwich when you have three slices of bread. Now you could be creative and make a double stack sandwich or make a half a sandwich at the end by slicing that third slice in half. But most normal people are just going to end up with an extra piece of bread at the end. That's what's going to happen here. Once this reaction's done, there's just going to be unreacted, unneeded oxygen at the end. The reaction ends when the magnesium runs out. Once you run out of one reactant, the reaction is over. And we can do this the other way. What if I said, if I have 6.24 moles of oxygen, the amount that I'm given, then how much magnesium would I need? Well, the magnesium is in two magnesium for every one oxygen, correct? That's a two to one ratio. So that means you would need 12.5 moles of magnesium. You don't have 12.5 moles of magnesium. You have 8.31 moles of magnesium. You don't have enough magnesium to react with all of the oxygen that's given. So what we would say is we would say that magnesium limits the reaction, or magnesium is the limiting reactant. Now that we know that magnesium is the limiting reactant, we can use that information to make some predictions. Because it's the limiting reactant that runs out first, it's the limiting reactant that stops the reaction. It's the limiting reactant that determines how much product we will make. So if I know that magnesium is my limiting reactant, I can figure out how much magnesium oxide I will actually make. I'm given 8.31 moles of magnesium, and if I look at the balanced reaction, the magnesium and the magnesium oxide are in a 2 to 2 or in a 1 to 1 ratio. There are two magnesium oxides for every two magnesiums. So that means I'm going to make 8.31 moles of magnesium oxide. I can also figure out how much oxygen is going to be left over. I was given 6.24 moles of oxygen to begin, but we've discovered already that we only need 4.16 moles of oxygen. So that means when all is said and done, I'm going to end with 2.08 moles of excess oxygen.